back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is Mary and welcome to another craft day Wednesday today's video was requested by my niece she asked me if I could do another Easter Bunny video but she said she wanted me to make the but uh, the Easter Bunny's body look like an Easter egg so that is what I'm gonna be doing and when I once I get it made I'll just give the the um, I'll just give it to her since she's the one requesting me to make it. So what you're going to need for this Easter egg or for this project is I'm using two different kinds of pink. This is like more like a purplish color or and then uh, I'm using a, a off pink and white. And what we're going to do is go ahead and mix these three col colors together and I'm just going to pull them apart. Hold on. What? Yes, Coco wanted to be seen. Every time I come in here to shoot a video, she has to be in it. And y'all already know this is my baby Coco. She is six months old. She'll be seven months old tomorrow. So here, you sit right there. Okay, so like I was saying, sorry about that. We're just going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and pull the... I'm not going to like mix it solid because I want the the colors to be throughout so I don't want them to be one solid color so I want it to be like a tie-dye theme so basically I'm gonna go ahead and take my rings off and I am just gonna go ahead and roll this into a ball and then we have something like this and then I'm just gonna go ahead and shape it to an egg Give it an egg shape. So this is the egg shape. This is the what we have. And I'm even gonna go and gonna go ahead and build. So next we're gonna need some white clay, and I got a little bit of pink clay. That I am going to use for the finish off the rabbit. So I think we're going to go ahead and do his head. And it's going to set right on top. Flatten that down a little bit. Yeah, this way. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make his head. And then we're just going to go ahead. I'm just going to play around with it because I need to see about how big. I need to make it I think I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger so I'm just gonna add a little more clay to it and I'm gonna go ahead and so this is what we have so far and I'm gonna go ahead and make his little cheeks so I'm taking two round circles and I'm just making uh, pulling out some clay and rolling it into little balls just like this and we're just gonna go ahead make sure they're the same size which I can add a little bit to this one and I am going to stick them on and flatten so they should look like this and next we're gonna give him a pink or her a pink little nose and basically what I'm doing is just making the nose into a little triangle shape and we're just gonna go ahead and stick that nose on Just like this and then I am going to take the end of a paintbrush and I am going to give this rabbit some eyes Mm 
and I'm going to pour off some, some white clay and I'm just going to roll it and I gave him some little eye sockets and I'm just going to stick this clay down off in the eye sockets but I'm going to make them a little bit wider and I'm just going to roll this and place it down off in the eye socket Coco what are you doing? Pull up a little bit of it, and I'm going to go ahead and stick this down off in there. And I'm going to give them some pink eyes because why not? Because we can make it whatever color we want, right? This is just what I'm picking. You can make yours any color you would like, but this is what I'm going to go with. There's our little head, and I am going to go ahead and stick it right on here. I think I might go ahead and um, use a wooden, a piece of uh, popsicle or cute um, toothpick. I'm gonna break that, and we're gonna stick that down off in here so we can rest his head on it. And now we're going to go ahead and do the ears. So we're starting off with two circles. Or not circles, well, two balls. I don't know why I keep saying circles. But two balls. And we're going to make sure that they are the same size. That looks about right. And then we're just going to roll. And we're just going to flatten. And you're going to get the shape. And we're just going to continue to do that. We're going to do the same thing with the other ear. Roll and flatten. Just like this. And then what we're going to do is take some of that pink clay. And we're just going to make the same shape, only smaller. And we're going to put it on the inside of the ears. So we have a shape like this. And we're just going to stick this on the inside. And you're going to end up with it like that. And we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I had another project in mind, but when my niece asked me if I could make this, because she's going to follow along, and I'm still planning on giving this to her, because um, I won't need it for anything. So she will end up with two. If she don't make, if she don't make this, she's going to have two. Or if she don't make it, then she can have this one. But if she make it, she'll still end up with two. So, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to flatten it just like that. And then we're just going to go ahead and I'm going to push position the ears the way I want them to be. I will think maybe one, I think maybe have one down and have one up just a little bit, maybe. Or should I put them both? Oh, yeah, I think I'm going to put them both down. We're going to go with it. This is what we have so far. And then we're going to go ahead and do his little legs. And once again, we're starting off with two balls of clay. And we're going to make sure they're the same size. I'm going to tear a little off. And we're going to roll it. I'm gonna roll it some more add a little more to this one because it's not the same size and this is what we should end up with and then we're just gonna roll and just gonna roll into a cylinder where it's like a, co a, a cone shape and I need to add a little more to this one then we're gonna roll out again
And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to push up just like that. I'll do this one. We're going to take it and we're going to push just like this. And we're going to have two. And I'm just going to bend them out like this. And we're just going to stick those on. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and um, take the take anything you have on hand and just put little indents in the paw or the foot. And we're going to do the hands the same way. And I'm going to take this pink clay and I'm just going to make little circles or little balls. And we're just going to stick them on just like this. And you're going to do this uh, four times. You're going to make four little balls. So this is what we have. And now I'm just going to stick that on. We're going to do the same thing to the other one. Coco, what are you into? My little puppy loves to be in everything. I keep everything picked up so she don't have anything that she, she's not supposed to have. But that doesn't keep her from looking for something to get into. She is a mess. So this is what we have so far. Next we're going to do her little hands. And that's going to be done the exact same way that we did her little feet. So we're going to start off with two of the, two of the same balls and we're going to roll them just, like, just exactly like we did the feet. Flatten them like this. We're going to take our little toothpick and make some indents in it. Just like that. Going to do the same thing to the other one. And we're going to just stick these into place. I'm going to redo this one because it did not come out like I, I wanted it to. And now we're going to go ahead and stick this back on just like this. And if you want to give your rabbit a bow, we can totally do that. My niece loves bows, so we're going to make a bow. So I'm start I'm just making a triangle and I'm gonna make two of those. And we're gonna stick them together. Just like that. And I'm just gonna take a piece of clay and I'm just gonna make a cert uh a little ball and stick that right in the middle and then I'm going to take my little toothpick and I'm just going to make indents in it. And This is what we have. And we're just going to stick this right here. And this is what we have. Hers, her little egg-shaped body and the last thing we need to do is give her a tail. I'm just making a circle, uh, pulling off some clay, rolling it into a ball and we're gonna make a cone shape 
like this and we're just gonna stick this right back there just like that and then there we have it there is our little Easter bunny body shaped egg and that's it it's very simple it's a quick and fun little project um, like I said I won't keep it I'll most likely give it to her and um, so with that being said thanks for watching this video and I hope y'all have a nice day and if y'all want to see me do any other type of video please let me know in the comment box below and I also was asked to do an assumption video your assumptions on me so if y'all want to assume something about me you can either do it on my Facebook through messenger or my Instagram or my Twitter and so yeah and well thanks for watching this video and I hope y'all like it if you did please give me a like and a thumbs up and I hope y'all have a nice day bye